What is going on guys, the Saurus Fox here today and we are back with a brand new Pairs 2020 AC Milan Master League save and this is episode 6 so we're getting towards the back end of the business well we're getting towards the business end of the season we've obviously in the last episode we did them few games in January as you can see on the screen we had that our first league defeat to Juventus 1-0 to a Benzema goal poor game that was overall for us we just didn't turn up we, we missed a few chances then we went away to Parma and we got battered 3-1 we had chances in the first half we should we probably should have scored more and then when the chances come for Parma they well and truly took them but then we got a temporary bounce back with Krunic getting two goals against Fiorentina so since then we obviously played quite a few games, so dropping down to the first game, we went away to Empoli where we won 4-2 in the league. Not a bad game to start there. Obviously then we got to the last day of the transfer window. Then we had Udinese at the San Siro where we snatched a 1-0 win. Then we went away to Sassuolo and we also snatched a 1-0 away win there. Then we played Atalanta for the first of three games against them. Uh, we had 2-2 draw in the league. And then we had played in the Coppa Italia where we won 1-0 away. And 1-0 at home. So that was 2-0 aggregate win. So we're through to the next round in that. And the last 32 of the Europa League first leg. We won 2-0 away to Lokomotiv Moscow. And then we also, well, the next... Moving on to the league game, we played Cagliari and we won a 2-0 there. And then I've done the, I decided to do the last, the second leg of the last 32 of the Europa League as well. And we won 3-0 there, so that was 5-0 aggregate win in the Europa League. And then that leaves us to where we are in this episode. Roma, match day 29 at the San Siro. Away games to Inter Milan. We all know how that one ended in the at the first game we played them that grueling hard fought passionate game and then we have Montpellier again as we played in who were in our group stage originally in the Europa League just a quick refresh on how we did against them if I can if I can find it it'll be up here somewhere no it's the start of the season sorry about this do apologize do 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 Let's see it Montpellier we won 1-0, match day 2 of the group stage match, we won 1-0 to start the group off. And then when we went away to them originally, we lost 2-1 in match day 6, as we just played a massively rotated team, because we'd already qualified with 5 wins. So that was our first loss in the group, and our only loss in the group. So hopefully the last 16 we can avenge that loss, and do well against them I suppose. Obviously, saying that, yeah, things things are getting hot in the business end of the season. Because so we are first in the league on 72 points. Of Juventus, one point behind. So, that is that really? I mean, not really. I can't think of anything else to update you on. But, yeah, another big episode in terms of the Rude Hullet Milan save. So... San Zero it is, 28th of February 2021. Let's get cracking and play Roma at the San Zero. Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen really get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Charging up on the overlap. Goes for goal! Up to the left it goes. It's the drop. He's gone for it! He's hit it. Oh, he's felt. Origi hits it! Brahim Dia goes for goal! Goal! Milan! Spinazzola has it out wide. Tries a shot! And there goes the final whistle. A very good game of football. No winner. But both sets of fans have got their money's worth. Fine entertainment. And it ends all square. So, 
a 1-1 one, one draw. I mean, there was times in that match we played well and there was times we played bad. But, yeah, we, we've we lost our first place position because we we're obviously only one point ahead. And Juventus have just won 4-0 over Atalanta. So that puts us down to second, one point behind Juventus, which now opens a whole different ball game for the season and something more to work through. I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit rusty in that match because I've not played this game for a while. I've just had a bit of a break away from the game. I've come back to it, feeling refreshed. The game feel does feel slow, it feels slower than I remember it for some reason. But yeah, no excuses. Got to get back into the groove of things, get used to the game, get things flowing again, and get the results back on track. I mean, we let we let a win slip there. Obviously, rotated a few of the players because of fitness um, ahead of the Inter Milan game, which we are 10 points ahead of them. But that's not a, a reason to not go and win the match. So let's go and play this Milan derby. Well, it is a very special day in the football calendar. The Milan Dot. We are up and we're... It's Lukaku! It's Lukaku. Ball through needs to be good here. Martinez! Press conferences, a lot of colourful talk. Yeah, here's... Has a hit! Shapes to shoot! Short. And the shot! And that really is the last thing they wanted to do. Brilliant save from Tonaruma. This could spell danger. Real chance. Oh, that is asking for... He's had a shot. They've done it. AC Milan are all square. That's always going to be the... He's there to receive it. And the shot. Goal, Milan! Oh, real danger here. Can Treva. It's anyone's ball. Themselves a chance. Massive leap. Been clubbed away. And there goes the final whistle. What a match, what a comeback. That is how to respond to adversity. Truly deserving winners. So there it is. What struck... So that is it, you know. We went 1-0 down to a poor defensive goal to for Latoura Martinez to score. But then we made a good tactical switch going to the 4-4-2 diamond. And that worked a treat. And that's what got us back into the game. I mean we got a bit lucky with the first goal towards the end of the second uh, towards the end of the first half. The ball being just coming off the defender. Piontek threw a one on one with the keeper, puts it in the back of the net. Then the second half, that goal was never in doubt. Divakarigi, no, yeah, yeah Divakarigi, nice bottom corner, placed goal. Then we had to bl work bloody hard for that victory because we were absolutely exhausted all over. Every player was exhausted. Into mine looked a lot of fitter team. We just had to grind it out. Um, we did. Got the, we've got the good result there. And look, just looking at that though, Juventus dropping points to Cagliari, which does give us the advantage, and we go back top of the league again. So, you know, hopefully we don't slip up any more. Well, 32 have become 16, and this competition has already shed Suso. It's on a plate. Has a hit. It's anyone's. And another time. Shapes to shoot. Goal, Milan. Into the lead once more. Deliver. Real chance. He faulted. Kessier goes looking. Tries one. Rebic. Rebic. Here. 
So not a bad 2-1 win. Second half was a lot better than the first half overall. Rebic, Rebic getting the two goals. Gone back to that narrow system again. It, it works quite well. Uh, Everton, just looking at the round of 16 results. Generally. Everton drew 0-0 with Borussia Dortmund in the first leg. Torino beat Arsenal 4-1 at home in the first leg. Obviously they're all first leg matches. Lazio PSV 2-2. St Etienne 2-0. We obviously won 2 1. Galatasaray 2 0. Wolfsburg 4 1. Tottenham 3 1. Not, not bad. So that is it for this episode. I mean, you know, started off a bit slow against Roma with the draw, but a good, found a bit of form again against Milan. And we played well against Montpellier, even though we did concede quite a sloppy goal. As soon as he hit it, I knew it was in the back of the net. We just left him unmarked. Yeah, so yeah, we'll go ahead for you games again and we'll come back in the next episode. So, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe.